Good morning. It is 11.22 a.m. The Wednesday, the 30th of September, uh, 77 degrees outside. It's gonna be a lovely day. It's gonna be in the 80s today. Um, the last couple of days, the high has been in the 70s. It's been beautiful. Welcome back to the kitchen. Um, it's, it's been a while since we've been in my kitchen. It's been a while since I've vlogged here at home. It's been a rough few weeks, as you guys know. We lost our Jojo. Um, you guys have been so sweet to us. Thank you so much. We did just get back uh, this past weekend. We took a little weekend trip in the new RV. Um, I still need to edit the tour of the RV and all of that stuff and get that video up. It's been a little bit of a slow process these last few days. Anyway, um, such an exciting, happy thing happening amid, amongst, amidst, amidst, oh, that word always messes me up, the sadness that we have, but um, we have to push forward, we have to get through this. Um, I think the worst part is the fact that it was just so unexpected, we just weren't prepared for that. I mean, we really, we weren't prepared for it. Okay, so let's move on to a happier place. <sighs> okay, so this little shirt, this came from Aldi, and there's another one, it's like a tie-dye, and it says, dog hair, don't care. Of course, I had to have it. It's from Aldi, it was $6.99. I was there picking up a few things for the RV, um, and I saw it, and I had to have it. Um, in today is my Ellen B, whoops, is my Ellen B Kind box. Um, I'm gonna open this with you very quickly. Um, there's spoilers all over the place about this, so I'm not gonna do a separate video on this. I went ahead and gave it another try because um, of a spoiler that was in here, a set of wireless headphones that are in here, and Rob needs wireless headphones, and you know, the price of the box. So, whatever, I just thought we would try it. So here we go. This is the fall box. Oh, that's pretty. Um, right here off the front. I love this. Look, it says Hope. I really like that. This is by, by Chari, by Shari. Hope necklace, female owned company, empowers women to express themselves through handmade jewelry crafted sustainably in Los Angeles. We will put this on in just a minute. I really like that. I like that a lot. I love how delicate it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, this is the Stojo Collapsible Travel Mug. Excellent, I intend to put this in the camper. Uh, the coolest travel cup I've ever used. Fill it with your favorite beverage, hot or cold, and when you're done, collapse it and throw it in your bag. It is that easy. Leak-proof, dishwasher safe, and made of the highest grade non-toxic silicone. $20 value, and the necklace is $100 value. I don't know about that, but $20. Yeah, let's see, let's see this thing in action. Maybe I'll put this in my purse. I don't know. I don't know. Probably in the camper. Where would I? Why would I need it in the camper though? I don't know. In my purse, I can see if it's clean. You know, using it. Friends of Ellen received 20% off their order. So we have a really fat silicone straw. Another little piece here. Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Oh, it helps if you read. This is a big cup. It's like, oh, you know what? This might be good for like coffee. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Stojo. That's that's really cool. Here are the earbuds that I was telling you about. These are the Be Kind wireless earbuds. Uh, at the end of seven, season 17, you heard me say, be kind and listen to one another to help you do just that. I've created these custom wireless earbuds and hope that you'll use them to listen and learn through podcasts, audiobooks, and movies. Uh, these have a $39.99 value. I broke all of my nails this past week. Those um, nail stickers I was using, yeah, I told you guys, they tear up my nails, and they did. They destroyed my nails, so I will never use them again. They're super convenient, but I'll ha I have to use the nail polish strip ones. Can't use the stickers. Are they in there? Ah, oh, and they're like silicone-y. They fit just like my AirPods. There you go. Okay, nice. I'll let you know how they work. I'm going to, like I said, they're for Rob. So there we go, because I have AirPods. 
He didn't want AirPods, otherwise I would have gotten him some. Okay, and then we have these Wander Beauty under eye patch patches. I, I love these. These are the baggage claim eye masks, and it's a $25 value, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six in here. I love these. I really do. Um, these are the ones I, I use, so um, they work great. Um, and this is an art kit, which I'm going to pass on to my Devin. This is Art Made Simple, uh, Let's Make Art, Be Kind, exclusive watercolor kit. My friends at Let's Make Art believe art is for everyone. We've designed four incredible watercolor projects for you to try. No experience is even necessary. This is a $59 value. So, and it comes with, mine is split open, the little painter's tray, um, some, watercolor papers and let's see here. looks like some tracing paper some watercolor paper some like different project ideas and things like that I'm not exactly sure how that works but that looks really cool and then here must be what's in here Oh, watercolors, the inks, and the colors, and um, oh, a coupon. Alrighty, my our sweet Devin will love that. She, you know, as you guys know, she is an artist. It's quite good. I have paintings in my house from her. And last but not least is the hygiene key. I actually have one of these, so I'm gonna pass this on to uh, a friend. This is, uh, we crafted this hygiene keychain from Antimicrobial Brass to help you go about your day without the worry of spreading or receiving germs. So you just hold on to it, you can open doors with it, you can press you know, buttons with it. Um, it's excellent, and I suggest you put it on a retractable keychain, either on your waist, you know, like in a belt strap, a belt hook, or um, on your purse or something. So all you have to do is grab it because if you're digging for it in your purse, you're not gonna use it. So um, there you go. I'll leave those linked for you. I have them. I put my RV keys on them. I put, I've been using them for everything actually. So and there we go. That's excellent. So great little box this month. Um, you know, it's $59 and I certainly think we got $59 worth of items out of the box. And um, I think it was a great value this month. You know, sometimes they're, you can't, you can't make a box that makes everybody happy. If there's, that would be impossible. So I think this one is pretty good. All right, so let me put this necklace on. That's why I ordered it. When I saw the spoilers, I was like, okay, I'll take this one. I mean, it's fine. It's got a lot of stuff in it that I like. So I have no idea if it's sold out. I know this box was like super popular right at the start and then it disappointed a lot of people. So I canceled it. Um, and uh, decided I would renew it when I would see one that I thought was worth worth it. And that's what I did here. Okay, so that was difficult to get on. <laughs> the little uh, holes to hook it into, and there's two, are extremely small. I had to go get in the mirror to be able to get it on. Very frustrating. Anyway, um, and I can't tell if it's on backwards. <laughs> I don't think it is for you to be able to read it. I think it's on the correct way. I don't, I don't know. That's part of my dyslexia brain. Sometimes it's difficult to figure out direction of things. So anyway, I know you probably don't understand that, but having dyslexia, my, I reverse things and not just like images sometimes reverse for me. It's really strange. It's the strangest thing. Anyway, um, so there you go. So that's everything in the Ellen box. I think it was worth it, uh, like I said. And um, so we, it was a $59.99 box. So this is a $100 value, 20 bucks. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 125, 130 bucks in value of items. Yep, so there you go. Um, and like I said, I saw the spoilers before I ordered. I wanted the necklace, the eye patches, the uh, ear pods, and the little cup. So there you go. I think I got, I, I got my money's worth. So 
There you go. Okay, so it is Wednesday, it's truck day, so I need to um, fix Rob's lunch here very quickly, change my shoes and head on up to the office to help him. And um, you know, it's tacos for dinner tonight, so I will see you in a, you know, in the morning, most likely. And uh, I need to get all my fall stuff out. I, it, here it is the end of September, and I don't even have my fall stuff out. It's been a very, <sighs> It's been a month. September's been a month. Normally I'd have my fall stuff out on the 1st of September. We were traveling. We were in the rented RV and then we got home and Jojo was sick. Um, and it just all went downhill from there and we were RV shopping. Had we known Jojo was as sick as he was, um, the RV shopping certainly would have taken a back burner. Um, he was at the vet probably, uh, he was still having bandage changes. So he was at the vet twice a week and, um, Anyway, so if we had known, obviously we would have spent more time with JoJo, so. Anyway, um, but the last week we, we clearly knew something very serious was wrong, so we were with him pretty much around the clock. But anyway, okay, I have to stop talking about it because I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, in the RV vlogs you can see my eyes are swollen and everything. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I'll talk to you in a little bit and I'll be much happier. So, oh, so. how are you today? Mm. Just unboxed all my September uh, subscription boxes. Yeah, I'm late. You guys know September was a terrible but wonderful month. So, anyway, if you haven't seen the wonderful part of September, that's linked right up here. Go see. Anyway, um, I uh, already showed you the Ellen box, so let's do the Mint Mongoose box very quickly. It is Thursday, 11, 10 a.m. It is 76 degrees outside. It's gonna get pretty warm today. We're gonna hit almost 90. So here's our Mint Mongoose, and this is the little card this month. So um, I'm going to email her and ask her to stop sending me the box. Um, I'm doing that with all my subscription boxes. So. It's just, uh, I really enjoy subscription boxes. I absolutely love them. I still have a year of Cause Box and a year of FabFitFun, but um, I'm not going to renew them, which is gonna be hard for me. But um, for practical reasons, uh, I think it's time that I stop. I did the math on how much I was spending on subscription boxes, how much they cost, how much, even the ones that are gifted to me and things like that. Um, <sighs> It gets really expensive and that amount of money, I could buy exactly what I want. Does that make sense? So Vela Box is gonna be the hardest one for me along with um, Cause Box and FabFitFun. Those, those three are gonna be really hard for me because I truly love Vela Box. I, I truly do. So, okay, this month is um, our inspiration. Hi there, this month's set is yet again brought to you by my sweet as pie daughter, Emma. My kiddos are where I pull inspiration for nearly every set I put out, so this set is no different. While it may be no surprise after seeing the photos, this month's inspiration rests in the paws of a stunning creature my daughter labeled amazing, the leopard. Well, we all know that leopard is hugely in style right now, so this will be a good set for all those leopard print pieces. Let's get this open. All right, just, let me open all of this and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is actually a really pretty little set. Um, it's a little layered necklace set. Let me get this lined up for you. Here is the necklace set. Now these are two separate necklaces. They each have the adjustable chain on them. And uh, the, you see the leopard, that's so pretty. So you could wear it alone and get it in silver, rose gold, or gold. So I think this would be really, really pretty in gold. Um, there we go. Aren't those pretty? So pretty. Nice and lightweight too. I really like those. And of course they come with the rubber backs as well. All right, that's everything. Um, so what are we doing today? Well, I am going to the eye doctor. I have procrastinated haircuts and eye doctor since all of this started, I needed to go to the eye doctor in May for my renewal, but um, I've been too afraid to go. 
but my vision has changed so, so much. I really need to go. Um, we can still continue with the crazy hair. I don't need to do anything about that. It can just be crazy. It's on my head. It's okay. So, um, I'm just going to kind of keep it and I don't intend to go and have my hair cut probably for some time. Um, I don't want to go to the eye doctor. I'm very, very uncomfortable doing that. So, um, I will probably be double masked today, masked today, uh, with a fabric mask and then the paper mask just to give myself a little bit more. Um, you know, our N95 masks have expired. We've used them so much that it's kind of time that they anyway um so yeah so i'm gonna go to the eye doctor <laughs> anyway and uh i need new glasses first of all my glasses are terribly scratched they're quite old and um, my contacts just need to be updated so there we go all right i'm gonna clean up this mess from all the subscription boxes and then i'm gonna get back uh, get ready to go to the eye doctor. I'll be doing some editing until Rob gets home. And um, there you go. It's uh, grandma's coming this weekend. So yeah, it's going to be a busy weekend. Very busy the weekend. All right, I'll see you in a second. Hello. I'm home. I finally went on a run. It felt so good. I'm so puffy and swollen and retaining so much fluid from not eating well the last month of september my anxiety has been high and stressing and worried about jojo and ultimately losing him and big decisions and you know this is about to get real ugly <sighs> and uh, anyway so today is a new week. It is Monday. Normally I would have closed the vlog out yesterday, but we had grandma until quite late in the night. Didn't get to really chat with you. Um, I'll put in a couple of pictures here with grandma. She's having breakfast and also sitting on the couch with little dog. Um, it, is, it is exhausting taking care of her. She, she does not sleep. And she's up all day and up all night, so therefore, you know, we're up all day and up all night. And um, I really wanted to make an excuse this morning and not run and just say I'm too tired. You know, I want a big carby breakfast and I didn't do that. What's happening today? Today is a reset. I've done this so many times over the last few months. I think this whole situation has really been harder on me than I want to give it credit for when I that I want to acknowledge but it has been hard on me getting the RV making this change getting out of the house getting on the road again it's really gonna help we are going away again uh, next weekend and uh, I'm very excited about that today we're going to be putting I've put out some of my fall stuff I did that with grandma and um, she enjoyed that she enjoyed seeing that and uh, she loved the lights and things like that. Um, I need to do the rest of it today. I did replace, remember the lights I had over my kitchen window <laughs> that I left up, well, that burned out, and then I replaced them last Christmas with a little fixture up there. I love the lights so much, and it was so hard to get that up there. I left it up the whole year. Christmas, I don't care. It was Christmas all year in my house. Well, Costco brought the lights back, so I picked up two sets when we went the other day, and um, or I went the other day. I went specifically for that and a chicken, um, so uh, and bacon. So I got I've got those to put up today. I'm so excited. And the ones that sit above my Lego shelf in my uh, front room where I used to film, um, half of them burned out. So I bought a replacement set for those. Honestly, I should buy like five or six sets so I have them as backups because I absolutely love them. I absolutely love them. Um, and I'm afraid one of these years they're not gonna come back. But with Costco, I think because they sell so well, you know, they're usually sold out by mid-November. Because they sell so well, I think they bring them back every year, but I, I'm not sure. But um, I may pick one or two up every time I go to Costco and then I've got a closet full of them. 
thought I would show you the mess that happens when you're stocking a new RV, when you're <sighs> not home, when things are crazy. This is the life you get. <laughs> and that is a kitty cat. <laughs> she will find the smallest places to snuggle up in. <laughs> That's Evie. So we picked up this coffee. I did. I picked this up from Amazon. I did the autumn favorites and the winter favorites. The winter favorites are already in the um, coffee holder. <laughs> so this is this mix. We have apple crumb donut, pumpkin, pie, pumpkin spice, pecan pie, and cinnamon bun. So I did those. And then um, there are the two light things I was telling you about. And that is for the camper. That's going in the camper. Those are for the camper. That's for the camper. Those I need to put in my cabinet. Those are the Costco pro protein bars, the Kirkland brand. I really, I love those. There is what I was talking about. You see half of it's burned out. So I'm going to put the new one up there. So, and remember, as far as everyone knows, we are a nice, normal family. <laughs> Anyway, there's an Addy Fat with a dirty door. I did put out my fall stuff in here, and I'll show you a little bit better in a minute, but this is what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> no, I still have not painted. I will. I'll get to it eventually. Um, this is what I was talking about. I need to change that out. I did put a little bit of fall up there. I need to put the... I can't get uh, a new order of the wrapping paper I put in the doors. It's been back ordered, so I'm still waiting on that. And then I'll put it in there. The tape is in there waiting for it. Anyway, but that's, I know you can't see it. The light is, look at him out there. He's sunning himself. You didn't have to come in, buddy. The air filter fell down. It's going out to the trash, little dog. And then over here is um, our fall lineup. You know, nothing, nothing extraordinary. Same as I did last year. Just kind of changed it up a little bit and uh, hang it up. And I do have lights in case you can't see them. I have lights in there, but uh, we didn't go big this year, mainly because it's so late in the year and I'm just super tired, but I had to have something because I absolutely love this time of year. And these two are real pumpkins and I have, um, is this one real? No. And these are faux pumpkins and I have a couple of other real ones in, uh, the other spots around the house and uh, some for the RV. Did that just go blurry or is that just my eyes? It's so hard for me to tell. I did go to the eye doctor, but let me tell you, that was an experience. My new glasses will be in Friday, maybe. And um, there we go. I just love that. That came from, I think Kirkland's a couple of years ago, so. There we go. I need to figure out a better way to run the cord. I don't like that you can see it like that. So I think I just need to get a longer extension cord and then I can run it across and it, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, or maybe you can run it down to the ground or something. I don't know, it's been like that forever and I don't, don't enjoy it like that. So I'll have to figure it out. But that is so much better. I love the warm light of the warm light from that picture. Um, the one in the front room, I, I need to wait till Rob's home because I have to get the little ladder out and uh, it's up and down and up and down and up and down and I have to fluff everything and I need to dust up there. So I'll show you that another day. But let me show you what's in that box I picked up and then I need to put this stuff away and then I need to get to work. So one second. Okay, well, it is holiday time, so this is the first set I picked up from Lego this year. This is the, um, it's the Halloween set. Well, it's 40423, set 40423. I don't see the name. Normally they have a little fun name, but anyway, it's like the Fall Harvest Halloween uh, set. There we go. 
And then these are two new baubles I picked up this year. One is the reindeer. They had a, they've had a reindeer in the past. This one's just a little different. And then Santa. I've had Santa in the past. This one again is just a little different. So those are my new Lego ornaments for this year. And uh, usually on Black Friday, they release a gift with purchase that's another um, little uh, ornament or something. I will definitely be making a purchase on Black Friday to get that gift. And then here is our set for this year. We will build this during Vlogmas. This is the Elf Clubhouse, and uh, it's so cute. So that will be coming here. For Vlogmas last year, we built something. I don't remember which one it was last year, but we built it. And I decided on my Lego collection, as I've missed quite a few pieces over the last couple of years, um, and I just don't really have a place to put them, I've decided that to further my collection, it will only really be um, the Christmas sets. So uh, that way I can make room for them. And the sets that I have in my closet, I may keep one or two of them, but I may sell the rest of them. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure yet, but I still love Lego dearly, but, um, you know, it's expensive and I don't really have a place to put it and, you know, I still love collecting it, but I think I'm just going to stick with the Christmas theme, so that'll be it. And it came with a gift with purchase, which is the Brick Buddy, whatever this is, just looks like a keychain and... Oh, you can put uh, different little bricks on the front. I'm sure they sell the different bricks, but here it is. Maybe they're in here. I don't know, but I'm not going to open it right now, but uh, it's just a keychain. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, this vlog is a little more calm than the last few, but the next one will be traveling again, so uh, we'll see you then. And um, if you're new, I'd like to welcome you and thank you so much for joining us. If you've been a return subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. As you've seen, we are just a vlogging channel. We do some unboxings, very few, and those are really going away here pretty soon. Um, and or will be very, very limited over the course of the year. We do some fashion, some beauty, some hair, some, uh, a lot of animal antics, just lifestyle. This is a whole bunch of life. It's just life, that's all. And when we can, we cruise a lot, but we're not cruising right now. So we have found another way to travel. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your love and support of our Jojo and us and your kindness. You have been amazing, you have no idea what a difference you guys make in my life and my husband's life our life every single day thank you so much for that and we will see you next time bye